talk about one of my favorite topics. As followers of Jesus, we have been blessed with so much. And one of the big things we've been blessed with is a new identity. And it's hard to grasp because you look the same and for a while you might act the same. But the moment you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and are saved, you are changed, recreated by God from the core for eternity. And we have to deep down know who we are because what we do follows who we are. But we have to know. We have to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. No matter where we are on the journey, it's good to meditate on who we are in Christ and to be encouraged in who we are in Christ. So if you're able, I want you to pause the video, grab some paper and pen, and write at the top, I am. And I want you to follow along with me and make a list of who you are in Christ. I am accepted, adopted, alien and stranger in this world, an ambassador for Christ, a believer, blessed, a bond servant, born again, a child of God, chosen, a citizen of heaven, delivered, empowered, free, forgiven, gifted, his beloved, his workmanship, light of the world, more than a conqueror, a new creation, protected, redeemed, salt of the earth, saved, seated in heavenly places, set apart, a slave to righteousness, strong in Christ, a vessel of the Lord, a witness. And these are just a few things, but they are glorious things. I encourage you to look up the verses and meditate on these and believe this is who you are. The enemy loves to attack at the core of identity. He wants you to think you're who you used to be. You are a new creation. Believe the truth of who you are in Christ. And once you know who you are, you have a better understanding of what God has called you to do. Praise God that he is able to change and recreate us from the core of who we are. He is worthy of all praise. Amen.